Map is important. Map is interesting, and you can come up with any strategy you want. Hi. Huh? Map is a sonic screwdriver? <laughs> no. <laughs> Map is everywhere and everything. Mm. So the neat thing about doing the three-part math lesson or bench is the number of different strategies that you get from the kids. Uh, it's really cool because you have a, a wide range of efficiencies in terms of the strategies that they use, and you also get a, a multiple points of entry for the kids. This is cool because although you don't know what strategies the kids are going to come up with, you're always prepared to talk about a number of different strategies. So it uh, provides you with uh, real teachable moments. The reason I wanted to put uh, this video together is because at the end of our multiplication unit, the kids came up with a whole ton of really neat math strategies. So it's kind of fun to watch. <clears throat> math is a, a mental calculator. Oh, yeah. yeah. The best strategy to use in math is a calculator. What's, what's the name of your strategy? The waterfall. We tried to do um, 34. Um, 34 times 83. Yeah. 83. yeah. So we tried to do um, 34 83s. Yeah. So one, and, and then we knew that 10 times anything, you just add a zero at the end. So, we so you added up 10 83s to get to 830. Yeah. Okay, and then what? Four. Uh, Four eighty-threes? Yeah, four eighty-threes. Equals three hundred and thirty-two. Yeah. And so you added them together. Yeah. So that is ten plus four, that's that's fourteen uh eighty-threes. Yeah. Okay. And then we added another one and that's gonna be twenty-four. So that's another ten. Yeah. Right? So that's twenty-four eighty-threes? Yeah. And another ten. And that's thirty-four. And that's thirty-four eighty-threes. Uh-huh. And so the answer is? It's Two thousand eight hundred twenty-two. <laughs> All right. We did the strategy just a boring square. Excellent. How does this just a boring square strategy work? So you take the number that you, the two numbers you are going to multiply. And which two numbers are you multiplying? We are three and thirty-four. Okay. Then you draw you draw a square kind of like this, mm -hmm. and you. Split those numbers up into groups that you think will be easy to multiply. So you chose 83, you changed it into 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 3. Yes. And you chose 34 to be 20 plus 10 plus 2 plus 2. Yes. Okay, then what did you do? And then we added up the hundreds. Well, but how, do you, how do you get the numbers in the middle? We you go to this number and mm -hmm. this number, and when you multiply those two numbers, the answer will go inside that little square. Okay, so 3 times 20 is 60. Yeah. And, and 3 times 10 is 30. And 20 times 2 is 40. Okay, no, I get it. And That's good. So. And, then and then what? When we got the answers, we added up the hundreds, the 40s, and, and the, the ones. ones. So all of these numbers are added up here yeah. and there and all together. And then and what's your final then, answer? And then our final answer is right there when we add up the hundreds, the so tens, and the what ones. What did you guys uh, figure out? Well, we figured out that the adding here went a little wrong, so the adding here went a little wrong. Oh, okay. So there was just a slight mistake here when you added up, and now uh, you fixed that and you came up with the answer 2,822? So really what we're doing here is length times width, right? Yeah. So it's like we're calculating area. Excellent. Awesome. How do you feel? Yay! So how did you solve the problem? Uh, the problem is 83 times, uh, times, times 34. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's length times wide. Mm -hmm. So uh, so uh, to 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 know the area, the area is uh, it's two uh, two thousand eight and uh, eight hundred twenty two. Okay, so you took the eighty three, and what did you do with it? And uh, I break the the number into uh, eight eighty and the three, and I break the thirty four to to the 30, 30 and 4. So each of the numbers are broken into yes. their expanded form. And, uh, and I draw this. This and this is the the row. I uh, first I times I from the eighty and I times thirty. So you went the tens times the tens. Yes, here. Yeah. And I do this. 80 times 4. And the tens times the ones. Yes, it's here. Mm -hmm. And I do th it's the end of the 80. And I do it's 3. 3 times 30. 1 times the tens, yeah. Yes, it's, it's 
it's night, nighty, and I do three times four. The ones because, times the ones. Yes. yes. So I got the answer is, uh, nice. and I added this together, got that. Well done. What kind of strategy do you have here? The trade shop. The trade shop. All right, show me how it works. So. First in the trade shop, you put the numbers down that you're supposed to multiply. So 83 times 34, yeah. Yep. And after, so you 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 subtract the num the the, the, fir the first place value column number, yeah. which is the ones. So 34 minus uh, 4 equals to 30. So so that gives you a nice friendly number to work with. Yep. Okay. And after. We did That's 80, we put 83 over here and did 83 times 4. Equals? Equals 332. Alright, so you had 83 times 34, but you took away 4, yep. which is really taking away 83 times 4, so you've taken away this much. Yep. Yep. So now you have 83 times 30 left, so you did yep. decide to do the work. Times 30 and we got 2,490 and after we transferred 2,490 over here yep. and got and used our answer from there and put it over here. So and why, why did you add here? Because in the trade shop, you're, you're supposed to subtract, then you're supposed to uh, add. Oh, so, so, you, so, so if you take it away here, then you have to make sure you add it here. Yep. So you took the two numbers, you added them together, and you got to the right answer. Yeah. Awesome. And we got two, and the answer was 2,822. Nice. What did you do to solve the problem? So at first, we made these two boxes. We, uh, the numbers were 83 and 34. We did 80. The eighty here and the three from eighty-three. Yeah. And we put the four from thirty-four and the thirty from thirty-four. And 34. then we switched it into do eighty times thirty and three times four, so we got twelve and two thousand four hundred. Oh, so I see. So this is like you're multiplying the ones times the ones here. Yeah. And the tens times the tens yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. And then what? We got um, three hundred and twenty from eighty times four. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so the eighty times four is the tens times the ones. Yeah. And the three times thirty is the ones times these tens. Yes. Okay. And the answer from three hundred and twenty is right here. Yeah. And from thirty three times thir um, thirty was ninety. Mm -hmm. So we put the ninety right there. We yeah, added that good. up, okay. which we got um, four hundred and ten. Mm -hmm. And then we yeah. did eighty times uh, thirty, which is two thousand and four hundred and twelve. And we then um, we added these two together to get two eight two two. Awesome. And what do you call this strategy? Four squares. Four, four squares. squares strategy. Nicely done. How'd you solve the problem? This is how to do chopsticks. First, we break up the numbers into lines which represent tens and ones. Show me. See, well, these are tens and these are ones, and then we and then we looked at the the tens and the ones that connect, and then multiply them. Yeah. So where is the number 83? Right here because it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, mm -hmm. and then 1, 2, 3. And where is the number 34? 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 34. Okay. And so now what, how do you find the answer from that? Well, then we look at these that connect 10 times 10, see they meet? Yeah. 100, and then 10 times 10 is 100, and you keep going. And eventually so each one of these dots is 100? Yep. And so all together they equal? 2,400. Okay, and then what? Then we go down here, 10 times 1, and then 10 times 1. So where the 10 meets the 1, it's 10 times 1, and so each one of these represents 10. Yep. And, and all together it's? 320. All right, and then? And the same thing, after that it's just tens and the ones meet and then it's just one times ten. Alright, so the tens and the ones meet here and there's nine of them, so that's ninety. Yep. And these are the ones times the ones. Ones times the ones and there's twelve. Yep. And so when you added up the four numbers, you got to the answer. Two thousand eight hundred twenty-two. Awesome. Good job. Okay. Traditional wands are almost like traditional swords, but different. For traditional wands, you don't have to carry or so. Oh, you don't have to carry. Yeah. That makes it a little bit easier. So first, you have to do four times four because sixteen. Yeah. So you don't have to put the one up there. You just do it there. Then it's four times eight, uh, which is thirty-two. But since it's in the tens column. There's you put a zero beside it. Okay. Then you do three times four, 
which is 12, but I had to put a zero there because the 3 is in the 10th score. Excellent. Then I do 3 times 8, which is 24, where I put two zeros from the 3s. Uh, the zero from the 30 and the zero from the 80. Mm -hmm. Then I add all of them up and I get two eight fives. Which is perfect, except what did you discover? I discovered I did the question wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so what, 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 so it was supposed to be what? 83. 83 times 34, which is awesome, but your math is excellent. Nicely done. Um, this is called the traditional short. Strategy. Um, strategy, sure. Um, First you multiply four times three. So we the, got the ones times the ones. Ones place value count. Okay. Yeah. Then we got we got twelve. So twelve. we put the two there and one there, just like addition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we block the one out and just do uh, the oh. bottom ones and the top tens. So four times eight. Uh, Which is thirty-two. Yeah. We and then. We figured out the third is that one, and then so, we put 33 30, 30. Excellent. beside that too. And then what? And then, then with this side, we, we know that this is 30, so we have to pretty much block this one off. Okay. So, so we, we did put a 3 times 3, which equals 9. nine. And then 3 times 8, which equals 24. But, but, but wait. Make sure that you cross out the one when you're done with it, mm -hmm. because many people get confused to do it again. Ah. You guys solve this question using what? Napier's bone. John Napier made the Napier's bone strategy because he was studying the planet and he needed uh, a good math strategy. This is John Napier. <laughs> You decide how big the square is by looking at the numbers. Mm -hmm. Then so it's a two digit by a two digit number, so it's two squares by two squares. Yes. Okay. Then, then, then you, you times three times three, and you get the answer up here in one box. Oh, yeah, that's good. So you show me. So this is three times three is nine. Yeah. Okay. Then you do that eight times three is twenty-four. Okay. Three times four, twelve. Right here. Three times four is twelve. Okay. And, and eight times four is thirty-two. Okay. And then what? Um. Then, then we add them together and carry the numbers that are extra large. So how did you add them together? We in these little columns here. This is two. We add, so this is the one. This oh. is the ten. This is the hundreds. And this That's is the thousand. Ah, so each of these are a place value column, yeah. and instead yeah. of adding them straight up and down, you're adding them diagonally. Yeah. Ah, very good. All right, well done. And uh, how is this math? Um, <laughs> math rocks. Math is everywhere and everything. Math mm. is in your daily life. You need that math strong. It did this to me. Oh, math is a bad apple. Oh.